Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So first of all, we had a bit of a competition for the name of this mountaintop district here. And it seems it's a, it was a very close one, but Dragon's Keep won the battle by 1%. So I am going to change it straight away. Dragon's Keep. Here we go. Finally. We've got our first name, first district named. Well, it's the second district, but it's the first one we named. So, yeah, thanks a lot, Jeffrey, for the for the name idea. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. So there was a great idea in the comments that I saw, which was to bring back how we used to name the beavers back in the previous two episodes. So I've done. Um, well, I guess we'll do two things. So first of all, yeah, absolutely do let me know if you'd like me to name a beaver after you and then, uh, you know, we'll we'll do the same as we did in the last, last few series. Now, secondly, what I've also done because the biggest downside or the biggest worry or the saddest thing was that once the beaver died, so if we uh, named, let's say, uh, this one here, uh, he's eight, uh, 19, but once he dies, that means, you know, that name is out of the game, so... What I have done is I have installed a mod which allows me to create a custom list of the names that we'd like to keep in the game. So what this will do is once the beaver dies, it will have a chance to be reborn into the game. Yeah, so I've put a couple of names down. If you keep an eye in the lower left corner, then I'm sure you will notice some familiar names at some point as well. So, coming to this episode now, there's quite a few big plans that I'd like to focus on. It's about uh, more than nine days until the drought is over. Not wor worried about surviving, because this um, reservoir is still pretty full here. Yeah, but it, it is going to be a long time, so let's go through uh, some of the things that I'd like to work on. Now, as you can see, some levees are going down, and it was mentioned, I think, couple of times how we could build an aqueduct going from uh, the top lake here onto onto this little canal that we have surrounding the dragon's keep and uh, yeah this means once we have this aqueduct in place that means i hope you can see but uh these water dumps here that means they will become uh, well pretty much useless for us so we can just rip them out and have uh, this beaver here go and work somewhere else. Let me just speed up the time as well because it is night time and I do understand it might be very difficult to see. Right, so onto that aqueduct here. So what we'll do is we'll first have to get rid of a short layer or small layer. Oh, what's in here? Oh, yep, I remember we put a few dynamites in place not long ago. So we will have to get rid of a little bit of this metal. So maybe three more of the scavenger flags and let's see how far are we 2018 okay so quite some time now the reason why i've decided to build it behind the ruins is once we build i still want to do this sort of uh, leisure or theme park build in this sort of around this lake here and i was thinking yeah i know we can still see those levees but it would be nice if we can start hiding some of them behind just those old ruins and you know it, it's kind of cool to see it from this angle as well so we are gonna put this aqueduct basically behind it right we'll let the beavers crack on i just have to keep an eye on them or check in every now and then about the progress but uh i'm not quite sure where should we sort of turn into this area we might have to get rid of this bridge here and then cut through maybe or hmm don't want it to go too far because then the levees will be visible. So maybe if we go straight through here, yeah, let's uh, maybe put a couple of you in place. Yeah, maybe from here. Oh, not the middle one, of course. Yeah, and we don't really need you either. Yeah, so the water could go through the middle. Here's the aqueduct and onto the other side. So that should be pretty fantastic. Okay, other things. Oh, you guys are not having a whole lot of water in here. We do have people working here, right? Here we do. Maybe we prioritize you as well. Okay, there we go. Right, next things. Dun, dun, dun. What do we have? This district here. 
me pause it or actually slow down for a second i would like to raise the water level in this canyon so what i've quickly done is put a few levees in place sort of just to measure out how high can we go and now all we gotta do is just give them access so they could go all the way up there and the way i was thinking we'll do that is okay you might have to be level three right maybe we'll put one here as well just for good measure and let's take a look so oh no small one and we'll ladder ourselves up just like so and i think here we that's the area uh almost where we can cross and go on to this side so just a couple more ladders or stairs and now hopefully we can uh yeah reach that area as well so we don't quite have the range so we'll have to move the district center a little bit closer this could be a spot in here so if we let me just speed it speed it up again we'll grab you okay so we are just going to need not the double one but the single one so now if we try it um okay something is not oh maybe we need it built before wait a second Let, let's let's try this out so this is um three by three should be able to build oh that's why oh dear okay we just have to cut the link and voila fantastic uh we'll leave you be let's do three times the speed and I guess we can maybe just one beaver in here. We don't really have the spare ones right now. However, as soon as they will be done here. All right, we've got a few more beavers that have been born. Trice, Clan and Megatron have joined the colony, so welcome. Okay, levies are going up pretty quickly. Only 12, 15. Okay, cool. Now, the next worry right here is most likely the storage. So, yeah, let's just put it in here. We'll speed up the time and do it like so. Now, logs is very low too. Uh, so, where's the labor? We'll do another drop-off point. And I guess we... Yeah, we can... Let's do it over here. That's all good. Now, we'll add a route up there and just do lots of logs. I don't think we're... Oh, we were already doing them. Okay, fine. What about... Are we lacking anything else? Well, planks is kind of low. We have lots in the other district. So why don't we send some of the blanks over as well. There we go. And let's check the distribution limits. It should be 100. Yeah, okay. There we go. And you got a few logs in here. Fantastic. Right, how's the population doing here? We got four children. Okay, cool. We have three children in this one. Right, right, right. And it seems you weren't connected up properly, so... There we go, you're connected now as well, fantastic. Uh, what else can we do? Right, 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 let's have a look up there. All I'm doing right now is waiting for those trees to spread onto the other side. And then we'll put a road through, right through the middle. And I guess here we still have a couple of dynamites. I don't suppose we have the reach just yet. No, okay, that's fine, that's okay. It's not a problem. Hold up a second. How many logs do we have here? 300. And you're still moving resources over as well. Okay. Fine. Are the logs going up? Not really. Still building quite a few things. These. Oh. Let us set it to none. And scrap metal only, please. Okay. There we go. How many more? Six only. Fantastic. And another 7.4 days. Water situation. Okay, they're bringing everything here, which is great. That's exactly how we want it. And here we go. Another day has dawned on us. Okay, a couple more things. I've gone through every single comment and I'm slowly catching up with replying to all of them as well, which is very great. I've seen lots of fantastic ideas. Well, wait a second. What's What happened here? You're not connected anymore. Well, why don't we pause you for the time being then? That's fine. Yeah, so I've seen lots of fantastic ideas. My notes are literally full of different build ideas. Now, one of the ones that maybe is worth, well, definitely is worth mentioning is, I'm sure some of you still remember, 
how in the R&D series I was very determined to build a castle but we just never got to it uh yeah so one of the comments was that maybe because this uh dragon's keep i think it's a very fitting name now as well uh, because it's already so surrounded by levees we could turn this into a castle uh i th think i very much agree so i think i also think that in the future episodes i'm pretty sure we'll see a bit of um bit of a focus towards that let's see we'll see how it's gonna go but yeah that was a great one so where are you oh no 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 don't go in there get out oh dear these are all free now as well pause 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 get out of there don't take those ruins down oh that was close and maybe we'll get you done as well there we go all right fantastic now so yeah that was one of the great ideas but then we also have well the resort you already know about jeffrey had a great idea to build a monastery on top of a hill somewhere so that could either go maybe on that side but also if it fits here let's have a look where is the temple there we go Ooh. oh yeah not on this one that's that's a bit too small but here we maybe could and then it's overlooking a lake as well so this could be pretty cool actually wait we have five unemployed beavers how is that possible four in here district four let us send i don't know let's do three we'll pause one of the houses and off you go beavers start constructing all those things that we'd like to have there so that's beautiful oh and another one now just going through the notes was also to make a waterfall that goes through the housing area if i'll show you i think making it go through is quite impossible right now without really ripping out most of the things here so the only option we now have is to do it from the side if we want to but then that also means we'll have to dynamite quite a few bits of land here as well so i'm not quite entirely sure if we want to but that's still definitely an option Okay, do you know what? We have three more spare beavers. I'm assuming they're here. Yes, they are. So let's migrate another three adults over. We'll give them some housing. And yep, that's nice. We got six builders now. Ooh, I should probably... No, not this one. Let's do this one. Pause it because we don't want to block the water in entirely just yet uh yeah so i guess priority wise i'd like you to get this one done maybe maybe up here as well and then we'll get back to those i just want to see how far can we reach once it's all done over there and you're sleeping right next to the farms here well that's okay guess he had a bit of a rough party last night but let's uh oh okay this isn't going really well how many 24 left okay so that's gonna take a little bit longer but that is okay for sure we'll give them a bit of a road access here and there and now oh you went this far okay we'll just draw a couple more levees through oh that's gonna be this height right yeah Ooh, i think we are one level higher on descent well, that's okay. We can always just dynamite it lower. And right now we've got about 200 dynamite. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. And maybe just to give them a bit more access. Let's do it on this side as well. Right. If you get this one built. That levy over there. We can... No, that's a little bit out of their reach. But that's okay. And I guess we can... Yep. Already do this. It is only one level, right? Yeah, it is. Just one level. Okay, I'm sure we can figure something out. It's not too big of a worry. Can't get all the required materials. How is that so? We've got loads of... Well, not really loads. Quite a few, I'd say. How many logs do you have here? 43. So maybe the issue is just having enough holders. I mean, um, yeah. How many beavers do we have? 73 so yeah the next building we should build here 
is a hauling, another hauling post. How high is the water level? Okay, we're still fine. Now let's check, do we have any trees that have crossed over? No, they have not, so yeah, we'll leave you be. Let's check on you guys. All right, fantastic. So all those are done except you. Don't have the reach quite yet. Okay, so this is what we'll do. They are going to run away for a little while. That's okay. We'll place you here. District 16. And how many do you have? Is zero. Question is, where did you guys run into? Into this one. Did anyone run here as well? No. Well, let's send over six. I'm sure some of those children will grow up very soon. Here we go. We should have six again here. And let's check the reach now. It's already red again. Uh, maybe we're going to have to take it even further. Maybe up that road. Yeah, then we should still have the reach. I think about here. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, who has spawn? We got Angel, JM, Dave, and Sarah Baguna as well. Okay, cool. Very good indeed. Let's speed up the time. Three medals left. Oh, the scrap medals. Beautiful. Why are you saying you can't get all the materials? Got 150. Yeah, that should be plenty. That definitely should be plentiful. And once this section is all good here, we are going to have to start building or raising another... Well, the second side in here as well. I don't suppose we are going to have enough time in this one, but we'll get it done. It's just like with the dynamites. Slow and steady wins the race. Well, sometimes at least, or so I hope. And, oh, okay. Well, we might just be able to have this whole thing built. It is going to take some quite some time for sure. But I think we are okay with that. And the reason why I have a few more dams in here is just to, you know, keep, uh, keep the water in this area as well so that the riverbanks can be quite nice and green. Now, the, for the access, I suppose we could go straight down from here, but that's not too necessary just yet. I'll let them build the rest first. Okay, so we've got a couple of things in. They've done the lower part, so this means we can probably give them access for the higher levels. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. And we'll connect you up with the road as well. And now that also almost means... Let's just flip it around a little bit. We'll give you access to that side too. Alright, quick pause. Let's see how we... Oh, excuse you. Nope. Get out of there. And we'll set you as the highest priority. There we go. And then a couple more levies, levies over there as well. Okay, so just 10 left on that side. We can do one more in here. And yeah, I guess dynamite it is then. They are going to have to go through there. Probably have to go down by two levels. Maybe they are, Um, No, maybe not the highest level. Let's do the lowest. Because we don't want to let the water go through in about 3.2 days or 3 days. Uh, because this uh, aqueduct is not quite ready yet. What we can also start doing is... Let's start raising this wall. There we go. Are you guys emptied? No. So why don't we prioritize emptying these flags. So that way we can start putting even more levees. Yeah. That should be good. And what is kind of funny, it's... It almost reminds me... A bit of a deja vu moment in, in here with the Folktale series, because we did pretty much the same thing over there. We had that massive aqueduct, and then this beautiful big bridge project as well, but it sort of became, uh, well, not very useful, I guess, because now they will be able to cross from the aqueduct as well, but you know what, we're not going to put roads uh, over it, we are going to keep the bridges operational, just like in Folktales. 
would like and prefer them to use the bridge instead of the aqueduct. Yeah, that should be fine. So let's raise you through as well. Are you empty? Yes, you are. So that's fantastic. You're almost done as well. You're empty. Just three more left. Gone. Okay, good. And now we can raise this whole side then. Wonderful. Maybe we should do the same. Oh, yes. There we go. You are finally done. So we can pause you. Got a couple more spare beavers now as well. And you guys are back home now. Let's check on the progress. So they've started doing a couple of these platforms. Checking on the other side. Ooh, that is awesome. We got a few levees in place and that seems to be seems to be going very nicely. We do have three unemployed. So we could have two more on that side. Now, if we do another builder's hut i guess we'll just keep it here for now yeah let's do that and we'll have to provide them with another housing okay let's connect the road and give you the highest priority sweet so they will get that done what we'll also do is oh you have only two in here okay two we'll send you over and that just means we have a few more builders to speed things up a little bit. And you're constructing that over there. Actually, do you know what? We'll just drop the priority. But let's, let's not pause you. Yeah, that should be fine. Now, this is already two levels deep. I had an idea to maybe put some uh, water plants in here, but... Then again, I think we're just going to use this area instead. Because it's such a massive or large area, I'd really like to use it as another, well, sort of like a reservoir for the water. Definitely can have quite a few pumps around this area as well. So, yeah, still not sure what we'll do with that area over there. Okay, how are we doing, guys? Pretty, pretty good. What about... Oh, you still cannot reach this one. Not this one. Okay. Okay. Can you reach this? Yes, you can. Pause. Pause this one. What's the furthest? Okay, you are. So let's pause all these ones. They'll start constructing that one there. Right, that bridge could go out already, actually. If we were to do something like this. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So in here, that's where we still have two levees. We shall give you the highest priority. And because it's such a short one, we shall also... Ooh. Yeah, let's do platforms for now. We can always replace them with... With another nicer looking bridge if we want to. And same thing. Let's just change the priority. Please get this section done first so we... If we want to, we can start putting some dynamite down. And while you look at that, 0 0.9 days until the drought is over. And that is fantastic indeed. 200 logs now. Beautiful. And no unemployed beavers, however. Well, that's a bit of a shame. We almost have access to up there. That's going nicely. Okay, very good. I am happy. Do we... Are we sure we need that housing? Yes, we do, but we could also use a couple more beavers. Oh, wait. Do we have unemployed in this district here? Well, that's surprising. Also, I've noticed that we have different beavers now. Or the district centers. Um, I did not notice that before. Oh, yeah. The first district center was the Iron Teeth one, but the other ones are now Folktail series. Interesting. And we do have the bridge over now, which is fantastic. Right, how about we give you a bit of access, get in there, get these ones built. Now I suppose it does not matter anymore. And just try and complete this whole thing. I think we can... Oh, you're not empty just yet. Well, let's, uh, let's fix that. Let's get that done. And I believe we can get rid of... Yeah, we can get rid of those roads, so... Even more levees on both sides. Oh, wow. Drought has ended. Ah, finally. 
That is very good to see and here. Well, we are going to have a bit of a problem here, so... How about... Yeah, that should fix that for the time being at least. Were they the same height as well? Oh, yes they are. Okay, so that's good. Right, here we go. Here comes the water. I think right now we're not going to raise it up just yet. We're going to let this tank fill up a little bit and then, uh, yeah, we'll store a bit more water over there as well. Let us quickly see if the trees have... No, they have not. Uh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah. Well, this is looking rather good as well. Can we get this... Yeah, those stairs done first. That would be good. And... Ooh. I'm starting to like this. Now, the question is, will they be able to construct both this side and all this here as well. Now that I do not know. I'd love for it to be done but uh, yeah. Alright children, we don't want children here. Let's send you back to Dragon's Keep. Yep. And migrate. Which one was it? 16. There we go. Okay. Much better now. Actually we can do a few more builders in here, right? Three, we have nine right now. Well, we can have nine. You can take... What is it? Okay, one more house. Do we need it though? Yeah, we do. We do need it. The quicker we get this built, the better it is going to be for us. Okay, and let's send over another three beavers as well. Okay, how many do we have here now? Plenty. Maybe you should be a slightly higher priority. There's still a couple of beavers that are homeless. Ooh, do we have any homeless on this side? No. Where are those homeless beavers? There's three over here. Well, what we can do is we shall send three to Dragon's Keep. Yep, that should be good. And it seems the reservoir is filling very nicely as well. Have we emptied you? Yes. And a two and a three. Okay, fantastic. So now I don't think we're going to need access from this side anymore. We shall raise that side. Yeah, and eventually we are going to have to cut this staircase access too, but we, we still have time for that. It's okay. Maybe raise the priority for you. These dynamites can go. And... Oh, quick autosave. Things are going rather well. Now, quick check on this side. Right, so that's flowing through very nicely. We're filling up. And... Ooh, okay, so you're almost done. That's going to be very quick. Okay, good. Now, if you could also... Let's say... Do all that. And then we shall... You know what? Let's do it like so. Middle layer will be this, and then top layer will be this. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Uh, I guess we'll just leave it. Yeah, realized as I was building it. Or marking it. Yeah, there we go. Let's check the access wise as well. Right, so this is the furthest we can go, but we might still be able to... No. Mm. No? Really? Let's have a look again. No, we won't be. Ah, uh, that is, uh, that's a shame. I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out where else we can, or how far can we move this district center. I suppose we could go all the way up there, perhaps. But we'll just construct everything on this side first, move it over. Hopefully, we'll pray that we still have access to this area over here. And, yeah... Okay, alright, so I believe we've gotten quite a quite a lot done in this episode. We are very close to having this aqueduct complete as well, but depending on when the next route starts, I'm not sure if we're going to get this complete in uh, just in time. So yeah, we're very close to connecting it to the main colony here, or the main canal system. And what's going to happen then, the water's going to go through, I believe, yeah, this way. It's going to flow through to the other side. And then we're all we're gonna need here is just uh, just a couple of dams to drop the overflow back into this lake, and maybe it could even happen, maybe even here. 
Yeah, right underneath. We can just block it off underneath. Straight into this reservoir. And then uh, that's it. Yeah, and with the this district here, we shall continue building uh, those levees and trying to raise the water level as much as we can. But, you know, we'll, we'll get it done in the next episode. So, for now, thank you very much for joining. Hope you had a bit of fun and I'll see you in the next one.